Alright guys, when we've been looking to buy the Canon, we really couldn't find much video content on YouTube about how the car is performing off-road, which is really sad because it's doing pretty well. So I decided to uh, make a rough cut of some uh, private videos we made about how the car is performing off-road. So yeah, you have a look and enjoy. So the car itself is absolutely brilliant off-road as far as I can tell and I'm not pros but um, yeah after this experience we really had to get a Dobinson lift and uh, some slightly bigger tires and what's very important ATs so the original tires are pretty good as long as it's dry but as soon as it's getting wet or muddy you can just forget about it. From inside the car things always look very tough and difficult but when you see it later on video it's always like hmm it looks like you're driving on a dirt road so as you can tell it's always hard to judge what's really going on on this track when you see it or just on video. Now and then we had to clean up the track a little bit but this one was absolutely useless because about 500 meters later we drove over a stick which uh, took off an ABS sensor on the rear which actually disables the whole car so this adventure ended there.
Some guys came to me and uh, told me that they were very surprised about how the car is performing and wanted to have a look inside and the reaction is always the same. They are usually very surprised, of, as I said, how it's performing, what it looks like inside and that the build quality obviously is not that bad as you would expect it from a car in this price range. On our last day on Fraser it was getting really busy, just the island was crowded of cars and people so everything was a bit slower so we ran out of beach obviously and the sand was getting really soft as you can see there were some nice guys that tried to help us because they wanted to go in there as well but at the end they couldn't even make it without a trailer so yeah we had to go further and take the next entrance to the inland track and that was actually the same disaster. <laughs> Here you can clearly see what happens uh, if you don't take genuine parts. The Toba was already fitted on the car when we bought it as a demo model. So the dealer said yeah there was no other part available back then so they fitted this one and yeah snapped some bolts. At the end we lost the caravan <laughs> on the track and I had to put some ratchet straps and the bolt of the jockey wheel on the tow bar to get us off the island. So that's a proper bush fix for a newbie German in Australia. Thank you, bye.
Very good. Oh, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> 